Hi guys, it's Melody with Design by Melody here. I have pulled out all my ribbon. I have a huge stash of ribbon and I don't ever use it because it's all nicely, neatly tucked away into a basket and then a whole bunch is in a drawer and then I have all the scraps in a jar so they just look so nice and never think about taking them out. I mean, isn't that what we all do? We just organize it so nice and neat so it looks pretty and then we don't ever use it. So I'm trying to get over that and make sure that periodically I go through my stash and just pull out things that I may not normally pull out. So that's what I did here. I pulled out a ton of ribbon. You can't even see it all, but that's just what I pulled out. So I'm still scrapbooking some pictures for their, our state fair trip in 2013 and I am I print my pictures with this white border which I love um, the only thing I just have to be careful of is when I am putting two pictures together I have to trim down the white border a little bit so that it's still even along all the sides so that's exactly what I did here so since these are fall photos and this is what you'll see in the next couple well, next bunch of scrapbook layouts here. I um, am using a lot of dark colors, even though it's summer right now and there's a lot of, you know, bright, pretty colors out. Um, since I'm scrapbooking fall photos, I have a lot of dark colors, just like this navy. Um, but because I am in a summery mood, I am pulling out a lot of brighter colors, just like this kind of shimmery aqua tissue paper and this um, bright yellow stars paper all of these are more summer inspired colors but I am you know it's kind of a nice mix though because when you flip through my scrapbook album it's not all dark and dull it's got a nice mix so what I'm doing is I have a ton of scraps here that um, kind of fit my color scheme I've got the dark grays and blues from the background paper but I wanted a couple pops of color but I didn't want them to be too bright so I'm just gonna make a couple layers here right behind my photos and I'm just piecing things together I see people do this all the time and I think it's such a great method um, but I don't typically think about it whenever I'm actually scrapbooking so this is one of those times when I actually did think about it and it worked out exactly how I wanted it this is a pale pink um, tissue paper that I'm using. These actually both came in packages um, that I received. I believe they may have both been from Julep boxes. That I subscribe to Julep. Um, but I love their packaging. It's always so cute. And I like to reuse the tissue paper. So that's what I'm doing here. The pink was so see-through though that I just needed to do two layers of it. So I'm going to have it off this corner of the photo. Or the photo block I should say. I'm going to cut up this border strip that also came off the edge of this paper. Again, using any kind of scraps that I can. I just prefer to do that. Um, and then I've already got my journaling written out there that you can see. I have a set of journaling papers just kind of paper clipped together. And these are a lot from just a variety of places. A lot of them actually are from my old Studio Calico kits that I would get. Um, Studio Calico would sometimes put on the back of the pages, uh, especially since they were the exclusive pages, just have a grid or a ledger paper, something like that. And so if I didn't like the paper, I would make sure to just stick it with my journaling paper so I could use it. And since my journaling blocks are so small, these papers last forever because I just take it off a few inches of the 12 by 12 at a time. So that right there that you just saw was my first use of the ribbon. I just wanted a little bit of darker, a darker border at the bottom here. It just kind of helped ground the photos a little bit since I have all these different layers going on. And I'm also cutting this blue, um, oh, wow, scallop, I guess. <laughs> I lost the word there for a second. So I cut this blue scallop and I'm just using it kind of on the other side of the photos to ground it there. And then I, I need a little bit, a couple more layers here at the bottom. So I'm going to cut another piece of this d blue aqua and it's going to go right there. I really like the different layers that are, that are building up here. It's very, it's not real thick. They're very thin papers. And since I'm just using scraps, it's just, it's just really nice. I really enjoy the way that this worked out. Just trimming down my journaling block and I have this Echo Park sticker sheet. I believe I mentioned it in my last video. It's just a 6 by 12 sticker sheet and I got it from um, the Scrapbook Expo I went to last year in Charlotte. And it was the vendor that had them had all of their sticker sheets a dollar. So I think I purchased something like 20 
different sticker sheets. I picked, I think it was four or five different Echo Park ones and then just a variety of other things. So I have a whole bunch of alphas here that I've pulled out, but I end up using these October afternoon stickers and I cannot remember the color right now, but obviously they're the yellow ones and they're the tile set. So it's going to say, wait, we aren't moving. And because he's, you can't really tell, but he's sitting in a helicopter in these pictures, um, which he was like so ecstatic about doing he thought it was the coolest thing to sit in this helicopter that's on the ground and so you know he's sitting there he's jumping in the in the kind of cockpit area and then he's sitting on the on the little bench and so um the journaling is just about that how much he was enjoying it and um here i'll read it to you it says, the transportation vehicles are always our second stop, right after visit visiting Smokey the Bear. Who wouldn't be in awe at the huge helicopter, and it's not every day that a little boy gets to sit in one. Swing his little feet back and forth, and swing his little feet back and forth. What a cutie. So that's what it says, and so my title is actually Away We Go, which you see right here. I love these tile stickers, but they do not stick at all. So it's kind of a hot mess in the little package, but eventually I'll use them all and I won't have to worry about them not sticking. So I'm just going to add extra adhesive on the back. At this point, I don't know where I'm putting my title. So I have it on, just lined up on the back of this other sticker sheet so I can move it around and just see where it fits. And I have um, this border sticker that I'm going to use kind of to ground my title. It just seemed like it was floating a bit um, or that it would be floating a bit. So I'm going to use it to, for my title to go on top of. And I'm also going to add another piece of ribbon here. I pulled out all this ribbon and I think I only use it in two places. But again, that's okay. It's just what worked. It's kind of a dark gray color. It looks blue on this, on the video, but I don't know if it's just because the paper's blue, so it makes the ribbon kind of reflect blue or the blue tones to come out, but it's actually more of a slate, a dark color, a dark gray color. But it really complements the, um, the layout really well. And just to adhere those down to make sure that the ends don't fray, I run um, adhesive along the whole back of it. And since it's going to be in a page protector, it's not going to be handled. There really should not be any fraying of the end of that ribbon. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and start adding adhesive to the back of all of my tile letter or tile office. Yeah, tile office. <clears throat> and right now I'm just using some Tombow Mono um, glue tape runner. And eventually I'm going to have to switch because I'm going to run out. And I think it's this video that I actually run out. Got my title on here. I'm really pleased with how this layout came together. Um, I did, really didn't have much of an idea. Well, I did have an idea, but it didn't, it didn't pan out how I thought at all. I thought I was going to do uh, a bunch of ribbon, kind of stack them up in the bottom left corner, and then build my layout on top of that, which would have been really cool looking, but I don't think it really would have went very well with the photos as far as thematically. Um, and there's this little helicopter sticker from this Echo Park sticker sheet that's just really cute. And then there's another, did I just say helicopter? It's an airplane. If I said helicopter, excuse me, it's actually an airplane. And I, put, I tucked one wheel under the layers and one wheel on top of the layers just to, I don't know, add a little bit more depth to it. And then there's this sticker down here at the bottom and it says little boy and it has the, hel um, I said helicopter again. It has the, um, airplane and it has some clouds. Well, if you notice, there's a lot of white space between the plane and the clouds. And I put this sticker there lightly. I did not press it down because I really liked it, but I didn't, I knew something was just off with it. And it, it's because it has too much white space. I don't have a whole lot of white on this layout, at least not just solid white. So it, it's throwing me off just sitting there. So it's going to take me a moment and then I'll figure out what to do with it. I'm using the last, a couple of more pieces of that yellow border strip and that scallop blue border here in the bottom right corner. And I've got the title at the top left and I just don't know where to put this subtitle. So here's where I'm like, okay, 
the sticker. I like it. What is it doing? And this is where I had just pressed it down and then I realized, no, I just can't do that. So I'm going to cut off the cloud section. I'm going to leave the little back, um, I guess it's a big cloud that says little boy with attached to the airplane. And then I'm going to take the clouds and I'm going to trim them out. And I'm going to put them in the top right corner of the layout next to this other airplane. I really like mixing these stickers in with my layout. Um, I just really like the way that it looks. I'm really pleased with how this layout came out. It's one of my favorite ones I think I've made recently. And I've had this background paper in my stash for a long time because it seems really busy to me. But it just fits with this layout for whatever reason. And here's my little subtitle going down. And it's... Hey, I don't think he was really saying this, but I mean, that was too long ago for me to remember, but it just looks so funny because he's like looking down in the left picture like, wait, we're not moving. I think he was actually trying to figure out how to get down, but either way, whatever. And then what I'm putting is my sweet, and then it says little boy, so it's going to say my sweet little boy. Just moving these around. These are the little Webster's pages. Um, stickers, alpha stickers, and they're so cute and they're so little, but they're cut so funky. They're just not lined up right when they were cut. Um, and mine weren't cut all the way through on the right side of the sticker sheet, so I have to kind of cut them apart. But you know what? They're cute. I'll, I'll deal with it. Doesn't bother me that bad anyways. My little journaling, blo journaling block need something behind it because it's just looking a little bland. So I'm going to take this uh, Bella Boulevard paper and back it on there. It's got these yellow stars on it. And that's also one of the papers that I layered behind the photos. So it goes really well. So I do all this and then I realize, okay, I cut that wrong. I cut the border too close on one side so you can barely see the yellow. So I'm going to do it again. It's the great thing about using small scraps. You got more. There we go. I was a little bit more careful when I trimmed it that time. And since I am doing a lot of pulling a lot of things from my scraps, I really don't mind using a bunch of it up on one layout. Like this one, I'm using three of these. Um, I was going to say brads. They're not brads. They're badges. There we go. Or flare, whatever you want to call them. And they're actually from Recollections, I believe. One says boy. One has a little hat with a propeller on it. And then one has a star on it that's going to go on the bottom. So there we go. That's what those look like. And um, like I said, since I've had them, I've had them in my stash for such a long time, I really don't mind using all three of them on one layout. And obviously they match. They were part of the same set. All right, just doing some finishing touches here. Um, at the end of this video, I will have some still photos of the layout and um, for you to take a look at. And let me know if you have any questions. Oh, that is where I put the third little piece of ribbon. I put it off the journaling, um, the journaling spot there just to add a little something to it. Um, so yeah, stick around for the uh, still photos at the end. Please like and subscribe if you like it. And if you're not a subscriber already, please do subscribe. That way you can uh, be notified of when I put up new videos. I should have three videos going up a week for the next couple weeks. And um, I've actually already made up my July kit that I'm going to be working with. And these are just kits that I make from my stash. So I'll share it. And I have a huge July kit because I have a ton of layouts to do. Um, so I'm being very ambitious here. I'm going to try to get 20 layouts done by the end of July. So we'll see how well I do. <laughs> we'll see if I run out of stuff. I don't know. Um, I wonder how long it would really take for me to run out of things out of my stash. Probably years, but I don't know. That's kind of interesting. But I'm um, adding the last little piece here is I'm adding these sequins heart, sequin heart, um, gosh, sequin stars, not hearts. And they're from Studio Calico. Um, but anyways, thanks for joining me today. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. And I hope you all um, get a little bit of inspiration from this. Thanks again. Bye.